Hello, everybody, and welcome to dot to dot Well, I was posed with two questions in the comments section of one of my videos, and the, uh, the questions were, uh, what else is there from Xena's map uh, that we can locate at surface level to prove the map is real? And the second one was, if you had a one shot at a borehole, where would it, where would you put it? So I'm going to address these two questions. And first off, I'm going to go to Google Earth and give a little bit of background here. Uh, one of the things about Xena Halpern's map is that it shows on the map uh, the hole under the trap door, the valve, and triangle two. And these are related to this west side of the island. Here is the valve D. Now notice it goes all the way to the top of the page. This indicates that it may have a surface entrance. It may have a surface entrance and we'll get in that into that in a minute. But this, uh, the, here's the trap door and here's the hole under the trap door. And this side of the Antiar schematic, this is what is called uh, the Oak Entrance. It is a place on Xena Halpern's map that says uh, the Oak, enter here. And these are not mentioned on Xena Halpern's map, except uh, these are on uh, La Formula. And La Formula talks about entering into a tunnel, then going 522 Pied to a place called La Hump and then you enter into the vault, uh, the entrance to the vault. So what would, what would I do, what would we do on Oak Island if, uh, if we were there? Well, the first thing we wanna do is try and find the access underground because all this is gonna be underground and we wanna find the access underground. Now, this is where um, we, I calculated where the valve is, and this may be possibly a place where um, you enter to access the hole under the trapdoor and the valve. Another place I would look would be this, which is the center of the uh, parallelogram that these form, cone E, triangle 2, the hole under the trapdoor, and the valve. It's the center point of this parallelogram. And this is in my video, uh, Where You Head Underground. So these are the two areas I would find. Now, Olivier from Oak Island Re Research has just done a brilliant video, and I'll leave a link in the description. I'm gonna refer to that right now. And this right here is a excerpt from the book that was written by Joan McGinnis, who's a descendant of the McGinnis, uh, who was the originate, original finder of the money pit on Oak Island. And it is a section that talks about uh, her talking to her uncle George, who talks of this story of a secret hatch near the cabin. And he tells her, send your sons to find the hatch and find what is inside. And he warned them not to get lost in there. But he didn't explain where to find it, but he said the entrance was just a few inches beneath the surface. So, you know, we're going to look into that. And uh, Olivier goes in detail in his uh, video. But here's another thing that he puts up. So we know uh, he's done the research here and that the McGinnis cabin was on lot 23. And here's its proximity to the valve. So here I have put on, uh, I don't know if this is exactly where the Smith Foundation is, but I have a lot map here and it is on lot 23. And I even got a picture in my relic archive here. And this is the foundation of uh, the Smith cabin. So it's very close to the valve here. 
And it's almost in line with, with these things, but I'm not sure where this is. So it is, uh, close by it's, uh, probably what, it's about 289 feet to the valve. It's not too far, about a football field's length. Now, we know, we know from uh, the Curse of Oak Island, there are lots of tunneling tools and evidence that tunnels are being built under Oak Island. On Lot 21, we found these swage tools, which uh, was told to us that they were for tunneling. On lot five, we're just recently discovering a man-made stone layer just below the surface. We also discovered a couple of uh, chisels that are used possibly for stonework. Uh, on lot eight, we also have found a man-made stone layer underneath. And we've found a whole bunch of things that are related possibly to hauling up debris tunneling material, chains, hooks. Uh, there's possibly a marker, stone marker for Triangle 2. There's some jewelry. And, you know, there's uh, animal uh, ox bridle uh, that was found there too. This all tells us that there's possibly a lot of activity relating to tunnels on Lot 8. The other thing is too is we also have a great, uh, debris, man-made debris layer in the swamp called the pave area. So another indication that there's lots of tunneling going on. So in order to validate Zena Halperin's map, the Zena Halper map, it would, it would really uh, behoove us to find this entrance here for, to get into the vault to the hole under the trap door and, and the valve. I don't believe that they're uh, visible from the surface. So, so where would I bore a hole? Well, I definitely would go to find where it says on the map, the oak enter here. And through the vault theory and through the alignment of the Xena Hopper map, you know, there comes the 45 degree angle. Now the 45 degree angle starts at cone A. This is what develops the 45 degree angle. And this 45 degree angle is mentioned in La Formula. Now La Formula is this document here and I'm showing it side by side. Here is the uh, reverse side of that document. This is a handwritten copy. And this one is, uh, we don't know if this is original, but this is the backside of it. And this is part of the Antiara schematic. It's the middle piece in here. So what La Formula tells us is it says to dig, it says stop, not uh, do not dig. It says dig at 40 feet. So you're at 40 feet and with an angle of 45 degrees, the pole or La Hamp, this is what is over here called La Hamp, is uh, 552 feet or 522 pied. I'm sorry. So where would I drill then? So we want to enter at 40 feet, we want to dig here to 40 feet where it says oak enter here. And at a 45 degree angle at 40 feet, we're going to intercept this tunnel right here. And this tunnel will take us up to La Hamp, which is right here. And this is where uh, you engage the first valve that you, um, I think you open it, uh, you close it. You close that valve to stop the flood water from coming in. So we know that the flood tunnel system, the water enters in somewhere 
before uh, Laham. So one of the things, one of the reasons why I want to, uh, I would drill at this location is not only does uh, the map, Zena Halpern's map, indicate this as the area where you enter, uh, but there it was at one time, I believe, a markers that were telling us where to go, and that is the uh, stone triangle. And the stone triangle, it it's becoming... Uh, sort of apparent that the stone triangle may be perhaps what is called the triangle of Peter on the Zener Halper map. So we may have already found one of the um, the locations on Zener Halper's map. We just didn't realize that it is because the position on Zener Halper's map is on the 45 degree angle. However, the the stone triangle requires a cross section here in order to locate the geometry to basically locate the oak entrance and it gives also the position of the 522 entrance all these uh, stones are now no longer available to us but this is all done by the 1937 survey it has been surveyed and I've located it on the map to the best of my ability. So I would definitely look here. Another uh, survey that was done that went along with this is the Fred Nolan survey. And I have the Fred Nolan survey here is this one. And this was mainly done to uh, basically analyze these stone piles that were up here. And these stone piles actually also give a lot of validity to the location of the oak entrance. As you notice, this, these stone piles right here in line, this one, this one, and this one go straight to the 522 entrance. The other thing about these stone piles, and I've done this in previous videos, is they also locate areas that are on the Zena Halper map that are uh, discoverable areas like the set point and La Hamp. But uh, the south and the north anchors are also located through this uh, these stone piles. And they were once on the island. It's too bad they're not there anymore, along with the stone triangle. But if, if I was to uh, go on Oak Island, I would, first of all, I would locate this 45-degree angle. I would definitely get that down. And Steve Guptail would ha definitely have the ability to do that. And before you could ang uh, sight this angle in, you would have to make sure that cone A was in the right spot. We know that Fred Nolan moved this uh, from uh, a reference to a book, I believe was written by uh, a man named Cook. He said that the, this one had been moved. And we know that the headstone is not in the right area, although there was an iron uh, peg that was put into the ground that marks the location of that. But the cone E and cone D on Nolan's Cross uh, are pretty much in the same spot. And I believe cone C is in the same spot. So we would have to find out... Uh, by taking the measurements on cone E, on the one side, there's a there's a side of cone E that is actually uh, flattened and chiseled away, and we would line it up with cone D and take the measurement uh, from cone D to the headstone, which is 429 feet, and then 145 feet on that same axis 
to find the original position of cone A. Once we did that, then I would go down to past, just past the 522 entrance and I would drill a spot right uh, beyond the 522 entrance to see if there's a tunnel there. Now this tunnel shouldn't be far underneath the ground. Uh, I, it, you know, from the original point of La Formula, it would be 40 feet or so underneath the ground. It may be less now since this has all been probably uh, bulldozed level and not as, uh, it's, the, it's less, there's less of an elevation here now. So that answers the question. If uh, we need to find two spots, uh, the only, there's no reason to find, you know, I, I have ideas about the North Anchor. I believe the North Anchor was found by Dan Blankenship back in uh, 2010 around. And, but even though we found any, the North Anchor, the South Anchor, even Triangle 2, uh, we know that the hole under the trap door is underground. The valve is underground. We still need to find an entrance over here. So I would do a, a west side uh, search starting at the valve and it should be perhaps not too far under the surface. And if that was not productive, I would go to uh, this point right here. And then for drilling, I would drill uh, just past the 522 entrance right on the 45. But we have to locate this 45 degree angle first before we start the drill operation. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later.